show of appreciation this morning for LA firefighters amid the pandemic. KTLA 5's Aaron Myers is live in South LA at Fire Station 64 where they're going to be receiving a very special treat this morning. Hi Aaron, they sure deserve this. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Yes, they absolutely do. This past year has been so hard for everybody. But of course, first responders, medical professionals have been doing so much to keep us safe. They've been out there on the front lines throughout all of this. And so we do want to say thank you with our partners at Wingstop. But I want to bring in Chief Jamie Moore and Battalion Chief Peter Chow to talk to us this morning more about what they've all been through here at L.A. City Fire this past year. Chief, fill us in on what this past year has been like for your firefighters. Well, as you can imagine, it's been a very challenging year. Um, like all healthcare professionals, not just in the city of Los Angeles, but uh, across the world. I mean, this is a world pandemic, and, and our firefighters have diligently been working to help people in their time of need. Uh, the compassion they show, and, and the thing people need to remember is not only are they doing these things here in the city of Los Angeles, but they also have their families at home that have been affected by the pandemic. And our firefighters have done an incredible job uh, and we really want to thank our partners uh, at KTLA uh, and for all their support and Wingstop for, for the support that they're showing our firefighters. They really appreciate it. There's a lot of times they're so busy that they don't get a, time, a chance to cook. So uh, having a delivery like uh, a, a, a meal like this is very special to them. It never hurts to have food, that is for sure. And I wanted to ask you, I know that obviously they've all been working so hard. What have they been doing to stay motivated, to keep their spirits up, um, all of these firefighters? Well, our, our, our chief officers, like Battalion Chief Chow here, uh, communicate with them on a regular basis. They're constantly keeping them well informed. We've learned the importance of communication, and we've been challenged with new ways of communicating, te uh, technology. So we hear about the rest of the world using Zoom calls to communicate. We're doing the same thing. We're maintaining our social distancing. We're maintaining our masks. Uh, this is all new for our firefighters as well. And uh, they're, they're doing these things to just really stay as a team, continue practicing, continue drilling in between all the calls that they're doing, and, and, and just working with our community to, to help support each other. And of course, they have been setting such a good example for all of us. And thank you so much for talking to us. The next time we will see you, we will have food for all of you. Uh, so you can chow down. That, that's for you, <laughs> Battalion Chief Peter Chow. Uh, we want to say thank you to our partners at Wingstop for their help, too, as well. Uh, once again, thanks to all the firefighters here, too. We will have them back. And next time, hopefully they will be eating. On that, I'm Erin Myers here in South L.A. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Nothing like a good Wingstop. And, no kidding. Uh, yeah, those guys deserve it. All right. Thanks, Aaron.